A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, They made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but not without my approval. With their silver and gold they made idols for themselves, to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no God at all. <clears throat> Destined for the flames, such is the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as a stranger's. Though they offer sacrifice, immolate flesh and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. The house, the house of, of Israel, Israel trusts, trusts in, in the Lord. Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house, the house of, of Israel, Israel trusts, trusts in the Lord. Lord. They have mouths but speak not. They have eyes but see not. They have ears but hear not. They have noses but smell not. The house, the house of, of Israel, Israel trusts, trusts in the Lord. In the Lord. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. The, the house, house of, of Israel, Israel trusts, trusts in, in the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went round to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. What we hear in the first reading today is really basically a statement of accepting mediocrity. You know, let's face it, it's a lot easier to find copper or bronze than it is gold. It's a lot easier to find glass rather than diamonds. It's a lot easier to find iron or steel as opposed to silver, okay? 
So we settle for what we can find instead of what we should be seeking for. And when we settle for what we find, we find that as we sow the wind, we reap the whirlwind because the iron rusts and the glass breaks and the bronze corrodes. That's just the way it is. That's the way we are. And that's what's going on here in this first reading. They've made altars for themselves to expiate sin, but they become occasions of sin because they're settling for the wrong God who is not God at all. They're settling for an image. This image of a calf, as it says, is in fact modeled after the calf that would be worshipped by the Philistines. Baal, okay? Good old Baal. He had the image of this roaring um, ox or, 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 or uh, um, bull or something like that, whatever you'd like to call it. But that's the image that has been taken over now and adopted. You can see why uh, God was so upset with the people in, in the Mount Sinai when they made a golden calf, okay? They're buying into secondary forms of worship and, and whatnot that aren't real. But it's easier that way, so we settle. And that's the sad thing. What the Lord is saying here to us today is don't settle. Don't settle. It may be a little harder to find diamonds than it would be to find glass, but once you find what you have, then it's a true treasure, and you've got something worth having. So today as we celebrate this Eucharist, let's ask the Lord to help us not to settle, to really strive to find him, to please him, and to love him. Let us stand and pray.